today is Wednesday, March 9, 2022. I'm doing Blanchard's market. Well, a piece went up a little bit yesterday, losing about three quarters of a percent of that value after trading all over the place. This actually has them closing at their lowest levels since last May. As you can see, downtrend remains intact there. Ditto for the NASDAQ. As you can see, longer term downtrend or immediate term downtrend remains intact. They are closing at very low levels, uh, lowest since last summer. Let's take a look at the Rusty. Up a smidge, and we get too excited about that. As long as these double bottoms hold, I think the Rusty will be okay for now. But they could take it out. It could get pretty ugly pretty quick. So I wouldn't rush out and buy it just yet. Let's see what happens. Take a look at the energies all over the place intraday, but it managed to close a little higher on the day. 1% higher. So far, up to remains attack. The yeah, metals might pull back a little bit. We could see some setups here soon based on this pullback. Also, in energies, when they do pull back. What's interesting is some defensive areas like non-durables and foods actually banging out some new lows in here. We'd expect these areas to bounce. So what do we do? Well, continue to focus on the stronger areas and on bounces. Look short, the weaker areas. Futures up big pre-market, but let's not get too excited about that just yet. Any questions, as usual, Dave, Dave, I'm Dave Landry. Hey, sir, one minute.